Okay, so for this one, initial and fund was opened with the initial balance of 5,000. And just after the balance grew to 5,200 on July 1st. So this is second period. An additional 2,600 was deposited. There will be 78. The annual effective yield rate for this fund was 9% over the calendar year. Calculate the time weighted rate of return for that year. Okay, so we need to find what the beginning balance of the third period is. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna take because they gave us an annual effective rate for the fund. So 9%. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the initial balance and we're gonna multiply it by the effective rate of 1.09 by one year. And then we're gonna add it by tw the 2,600 that was deposited by the same effective interest rate, but it was deposited on July 1st, so half a year. And then, yeah, we solve it. So, do, and I go 1.09. I think I'm going plus. It's going to be 8164.47. So now we then find out that over the calendar year, this whole thing ends up being accumulated to this amount. So now, yeah, because this is on, first period of this beginning January 1st, second half quarter, half period, then that would mean that the third period would be the last, something like that. Now let's create our ratio. So these two, so we're gonna do 5,200 over 5,000 times the uh, 8164.47 over 7,800 equals one plus I and we're going to solve, so 5,200 divided by 5,000 times 8164.47 divided by 7,800, which is 1.088596 minus that one to get an effective interest rate of 8.86.